Continuing in the line of utility loss, what about communications loss? What happens if your internet service provider or your telephone service provider goes offline? For whatever reason, they are unable to provide you with the communication services that you've contracted for. What's the impact to your business? Sometimes when you ask those questions, all you end up with are blank stares with wide eyes. Oh my gosh, we couldn't do it. Well, you might have to. So always ask the question, what if? What if we lose this? What if we lose that? Be able to respond and have an answer for every what if question. That's where the controls are going to come into place a little bit later. Equipment failure. Lots of different types of equipment can fail. Obviously, we're going to focus on our computer equipment or the controls that surround our computer equipment. What happens if your primary disk drive fails? Well, hopefully you have a backup. What happens if your firewall fails? Again, hopefully you have a backup. You need to ask the question with each individual piece of hardware you have, each individual component, if it fails, what you going to do? You have to have a plan in place because chances are something's going to fail. And then last for our physical security threats is personnel loss. You can suffer personnel loss in many different ways. One way is just the rapid departure of a person. This could be through being fired, finding a better job, something as simple as that, or it could be through injury or even death. If a person is so critical to your organization that you cannot do without the person, you need to put in some controls and make sure that you can get along without those folks or you have some backup plan. One type of personnel loss that can cause larger problems to an organization, even with a good backup plan, is a strike or perhaps a large-scale sickness or an illness. It's not uncommon for one illness that takes root in a company to be passed to other employees. So you may not have one person who is crucial, but what happens if five, six, or eight of your people within your security department or within your manufacturing department all of a sudden become sick at the same time? That's a personnel loss, physical threat to your security. And of course, with a strike, as I mentioned a moment ago, it is possible if you are unionized that you could suffer a strike and be forced to do without a large segment of your workforce.